Hey guys, I know I'm a week late, but here's the video. Um, it is February now, and we all know this month has Valentine's Day. So, why don't I celebrate the month of love while playing a dating simulator about pigeons? Seems like the best idea to me, but you guys might not agree. Anyway, let's do this. Welcome to Saint Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. Okay. Uh, no, not putting that name. Um. Hmm. Curvy. Um. I really don't know what the name this person. I don't know, chicken. Why not? Everybody loves chicken. Is scurvy chicken okay? Absolutely. A soulful boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Mm, I don't really want to ruin the illusion. I just want to know them as the bird. I don't need to see what they would look like if they were human. So no. Configuration saved. St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. Looks pretty nice. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeon Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. So, we're not a bird. <laughs> oh. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota! Huh. Hmm, I wonder if I'll go for Ryota. Usually, you'd have to be ready for an hour by now. Scurvy. Overslept? Ryota Kawara. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Aw. He's pretty cute. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Okay. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I feel like they did a lot of research on pigeons before they started this game. I'm guessing that's probably why um, they have distinct personalities, because maybe they act differently, I guess? I don't know. I might take you up on that after. When starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Uh-oh. School bell. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers. No good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. 
This game seems pretty tame. So far, anyway. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. First term. Look at all the pigeons. Aren't they adorable? I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. How does she know all these birds in the first place? I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Ooh. Kazuaki. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. He fell asleep. Of course he'd fall asleep. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously subrophic. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Sorry. Math professor. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please, introduce yourself, Shirogani. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well I guess that's that. Hey, hey, hey! That's no good. <laughs> but he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, <laughs> when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shiragane? Shiragane La Belle Sakuya. It seems this fantail is Shiragane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. I don't. Looks like a dick to me. Sakiya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. <coughs> Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from obsessionists, there's hardly anybody here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. <laughs> or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? That music. Something bad must have happened to this guy. <laughs> yes, I don't want anything with you. 
it's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. <coughs> or he's just into books. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, they were a little too dense, and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? Maybe he is in a bad mood. Huh. I'm Chicken Scurvy, a sophomore. How about you? Hmm. Y your Nageki Fujishiro Nageki Freshman. <laughs> He's kind of odd, I guess. Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove, but he seems a little sad. Yeah, you think? Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. Keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that? You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? Oh, his brother is here too? After all these years. My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try and talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... It's your own brother, dude. I guess even if we're in the same school, now it's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I overheard something juicy. Oh, I bet you overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man, Sakazi, Sakazaki, yeah, is Sakuya's brother. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! Oh. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakius? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Ha! No sweat. I try to say sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. But that there wasn't too cool. Oh, I know where this is going. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. You're scurvy, right? H how did you- I know every birdie here. Besides, he's the only human. Well, that would explain why he would know me. A single poppy in a field of rye. Oh, he's a poet. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain. So good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Oh, he's French, too. He really is a noble bird. Never heard anything like that about you yet, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. I wonder if it's a fact of his certain type of pigeon having a weak stomach, or if it's just him. I, I really don't know with this game. Excuse me. 
How does a bird go to school for... I, I mean, I guess he goes here, but... How do you become a recognized doctor if you're a pigeon? Unless I'm the only human in the world. But I can't be. Because I must have parents? Okay, I'm just not gonna think about that. Nobody's here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. My hunter-gatherer instincts? I mean, I guess. Ryota. No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go all home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, there's all kinds of drugs in here. Whoa, 420. Ethyl par trife Lucia benzene. What do these even do? <laughs> Care to find out? <laughs> Ooh. The, the, the doctor? <laughs> he looks, uh. crazy. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Mm hmm? Oh. So you're that kind of doctor. No, thank you. This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Oh, he looks like he does. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with Aspergillus. <laughs> Cytokosis, or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja Doctor? You don't look like you have good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2 3 was supposed to be here. That music. Him? He's already gone. <laughs> Did you kill him? <laughs> Is he alright? Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Or maybe he ate him. Look how fat he is. Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Maybe I should date him. Doctors make good money. He doesn't seem very safe. But whatever. I'll figure it out eventually. Maybe I'll just not try for anyone and see what happens. Although, we probably haven't met all the pigeons yet, so... I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. Oh, we get to pick our club? I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migra migration... <laughs> Bird? <laughs> Why is there a bird watching class in a bird school? Isn't there another one? I'm the only human. So why is there. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always fun watching the birds hop around. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo coo. This is no pudding for a man. Oh, so he just speaks in coos, but somehow I understand what he's saying. San? Coo. Okosan rejects it. It's a lie. A vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Maybe I'll go for this strange man. Bird. This is Okosan. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon. I think. Either way, he's hyper. Q. 
coup. Okasan has suffered this deception most vile. A wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Coup. Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Coup. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, and dragged into the street and shot by those who he trusted most. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> wow. It's squishy and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo, coo. Spare the jest, young lady. Ogosan used wing attack. It's super effective. Of course, I had to have a Pokemon reference in here somewhere. Uh, why not? Coo. They'll rue the day they crossed Ogosan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Okay, maybe the doctor doesn't seem so bad now. Coo! Okusan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. True pudding at four in the morning, only to be rejected by Angelica. And he's gone. He's a good runner. But what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. That was a quick first semester. Uh, I think we want to choose the class cancel today. As you all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club, so I don't have to join a club. If you want, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Well, I assume so. Cool. Okusan has time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shiragane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admit. Wow. Is he that qualified for this? Nepotism ho. Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. Oh, Ryota. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Oh. So he has a sad story. Hmm. I wonder what I should do. Join the... Huh. That's what I want to do. Um... I'll do the opposite of what I would do in real life and join the track team. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Oh, I'll have fun. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Oh, I get to pick? Attend. Finally, we have some choices. That was a long introduction. Um... Gym class. I had to sit out the wing training, but it was fun anyway. Maybe someday I'll be able to fly too. Probably not. Oh, fanfare. Scurvy leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Vitality. Why do I need vitality? I need to go sign up for track. I want to join the team, but I wonder if Okusan's having a fit again. I'll find out when I get there. Oh, Okusan. Coo? A scurvy appears. Is this a challenge then? Choose your weapon, ma'am, and draw. A fit he is having, though not over pudding. Not really. I want to join the team. Do you know where the captain is? Coo! He stands before you. Okusan is the captain, and a faster bird the world has ever known. I never knew. Oh, well here. My forms. Thank you. Coo! A dove never refuses a challenge. Commence the entrance examination. There's an exam? Coo! Of course. Track isn't, a da isn't daisy chain making, Missy. Coo! 
Okusan will be your opponent in noble combat sprint or long distance. Um. Um. That's true. <laughs> long distance, I guess. Cool, long distance. You've got guts. Let us begin. Oh, I guess he likes that. Cuckoo, on your mark, get set, go! How is he so fast? He can't even fly this fast. Pant, pant. <laughs> Cuckoo, you're still weak, but you've got potential. Welcome to the team. Thanks? Cuckoo, that's all, folks. And so I joined the track team. Who knew doves could run like that? Can dubs actually run fast? I live in a cave. Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. What's relaxing about this? Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break in the hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Okay, I guess this is where I start choosing someone. <laughs> Let's go with... <laughs> San. I wonder where Okusan went. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. Cuckoo! It's not here. The pudding is not here. Ah! It's missing. Did you bring it to eat for lunch? Cool. No. Okusan believed that wonderful pudding could be found on... Oh, so he's stupid, too. Is there a kind of pudding that lives on mountains? Cool. Okusan will now search elsewhere for the pudding. And he's gone. What kind of pudding is he looking for anyway? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. Is it chocolate? So I like chocolate pudding. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Let's try music class. Today is a music history lesson. So much thinking outside the box. Wow. I feel like I'm going to fly off the hand. This is what mo- mo- Ma's dirt <laughs> is all about it. What? I don't- I don't know. I wonder what those wigs felt like. They look like they're wearing... ...tarmigans on their head. What is this game? Do you seek to mock the great masters, you low pillstein? What did I get? Charisma. You've got charisma, kid. Uh, I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been in May. May. What are you gonna do, Ryota? I haven't decided. Probably the Theodore race. Somebody has to. <laughs> I can just imagine doing the three legged race with Ryota. Because it would be just me running with a pigeon tied to my leg. Unless I'm like... Am I the height of the birds? Or are the birds like giants? Cool. Okusan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. You have a lot of stamina, Okusan. What about you, Sakya? Can't possibly be expecting me to run at some race, can you? It is a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? Whew. I'm tired. How about being a cheerleader? The 
general. In other words, very well. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Oh, I don't think a cheerleader is a general at all. Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdies still can't decide. Oh. Maybe that's what I'll do. To the Let's do the first aid tent. I'll go to one to the library. Salutations! Did you come to gaze into my eyes, Monomi? Oh, fuck <laughs> this bird. Um, I heard the first aid team was short-handed. Salutations! Alas, spurned for the sake of medicine, I must work hard to prove my. L oh dear. Anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we have plenty of work to do. Ah, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why use a game designed for humans? Yeah, why use a school designed for humans? Beyond me, Monami. I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there. He's resting in the shade of a tree, some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes in the performance of the birds in the track race. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. His girlish complexion. He looks more like Danny DeVito. Is he taking notes on something? A lot of the birds graduating from the school get scouted by pro sports teams, so maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. Or he's writing his kill list. Uh oh, they've started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, Monami. Yes, sir. And so I spent the sports festival patching up damaged dubs with Yuya. I learned some first aid from him. So it was time well spent. I think. The first barrier for all students who make it this far is the midterm exam. Jeez. Oh, Do I have to answer questions? <laughs> We're getting them back today. Ah, uh, I don't think I did. Oh, well, I guess I don't have to. Okay. Chicken. Yes. You are tired. Keep going like this and you'll do just fine. One day you can surpass me. I'd love to see that. I guess. I guess I did pretty well after all. <sighs> and Mr. Nanaki seems happy with me too. Yay. I hope he's happy. With the festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Oh, I bet they do. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutation scurvy. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at news clipping on the staff room pinboard. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon crowned again. First. Okay. I'm guessing there's some kind of backstory behind this entire pigeons being able to talk, so I'm guessing there are other humans. The first intelligent pigeon. Is he, like, crazy old? Or is he just, like... I guess pigeons aren't that old. Anyway. I don't know. It's weird. Brian. Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely in town. Oh my god. So the birds just learned, I guess? Is it kind of like humans? Evolved? Into talking birds? Hmm. 
He's very skilled and unsightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. I wonder what would have happened if I actually googled Brian Pigeon. I'm not gonna do it though. Okay. Uh oh. Lunch is nearly over. Adieu, scurvy. I'd better hurry back to class. Hello, every. There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Ryota is overturned next to them. Oh, Ryota. Rock doves' underwings and bellies are light, so they look pretty different upside down. Ooh, we're checking him out. I mean, wait, <laughs> what's going on? Oh, Okusan and Sakia are. I look up to see the two of them at each other's throats in the corner. Oh god, Okusan. <laughs> no. I think we might have a diplomatic incident on our hands. What happened, Ryota? Sakia was making fun of Okusan. Oh god. Called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding. Kind of true. And said he was ashamed to be in the same class. <gasps> How dare he? That's terrible. I mean, Okusan is a nutcase. And I don't know what he's saying half the time. But he really does like pudding. <laughs> Do Duff's like pudding? Like, uh. Either way, Okusan kind of went for the jugular and you tried to pull them apart and Okusan used the wing attack on you? Y yep. You're our only hope now, Scurvy. <laughs> Coo coo. Okusan will not allow Pudding or himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. You tell me to take back my words. I shall not. A mongrel like you hasn't even the right to speak to me. Coo. Okusan is not a mongrel. The battle still rages, and it looks like Ryota's sacrifice was in vain. I should. Side with Okosan, clearly. Sakia, that wasn't very nice. Just because you don't know what Okosan is talking about doesn't mean you can start slurring him. You are siding with this mongrel rebel. Aren't you supposed to be a human? Cool, cool. Okosan is resolved. Okosan will end this now. He drops low and pretends to strike with all of his might. Oh god. <laughs> Koo, Giga, Drill, Beak! <laughs> uh. <sighs> Ogosan gets me. I don't want to admit it, but Ogosan gets me. References the Pokemon with his wing attack, <laughs> and now Gurren Lagan. <laughs> with the Giga Drill beak. Uh, this game's tearing me apart. Ah! Okusan crashes into Sakia with a spinning body slam. Sakia goes flying out into the hallway, bouncing helplessly. That must have hurt. Ku Okusan is a match for any aristocrat. Ku Ku. Okusan is a match for the mighty giants themselves. He puffs up his chest and swags his way out of the classroom like a real gangster pigeon. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, class is about to start. Okusan, come back, break is over. Oh, this game. Mmm, today is gonna be a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the...
go to the store. I don't really need anything. I bet I'll go to the store. Never really like. Uh, I never really looked around there before. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. So, these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, Monami. Plane is settled down on. I know that voice. Well, that Monami. Yuya! No, that's not it. I'm still a high school student. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> that may be so. But you know, we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. <laughs> yeah, they did the research. They do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. My, uh, Yuya, that, we're not, I'm not good enough. Oh well, I'll have to try again later. This is how he talks to every girl he meets. I'd like to know that. Uh, should I let it slide? Or I think that's a little rude. Whatever, it's fine. It's not like it's surprising coming from. No, it's really nice. Not at all. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Oh. Go to gym class again. Today is calisthenics. Ryota, you're in high school and you still can't do a chin up? Well, he's a bird. Don't look at me like that. You're making me feel like a failure. Oh. More fanfare. My vitality must have went up. Yeah. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, mon ami. Yuya. Oh my god, Yuya, you're fucked. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Morning conference on the 10th. Leave 30 minutes early. Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time? Nanaki. Wednesday is garbage day or garbage day. What should I wish for? <laughs> to conquer the world by force. To rule the world from the shadows. Or become a famous artist. Take the reins of power, though clever schemes, and rule the world from the shadows. <laughs> oh, hello. Is that you, chicken? Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful at this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was a bit dead home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um. Uh, yeah, I might as well. He's a teacher, he's fine. Yes, please. Alright. Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Eventually? The house is very rustic, chicken. I like it this way. I, I. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Oh, do you not have a home? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left, a somewhat hollow sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Oh, well, you probably did. Today's an elective day, what should I do? Attend. I just want to see Oko-san again. I'm guessing he's in gym, so. A rock dove is wiggling. 
of it on the surface of the water, advancing neither forward nor backward. You can't swim, Re Rielda. I'm doing my best. I'm going to learn before I graduate. Scurvy leveled up, vitality increased by five. What are the stats even for? Like today is swim class. All these damp, tight, clinging feathers are making my heart ray. <laughs> oh my! Gotta love them pigeon feathers. Cool, cool. Scurvy is a human. Can you still swim? Oh. Yup. Cool. Okusan challenges you to a race then. Okusan has never swum against the hominid. So you're fast in the water as well on, as on land? Cool, cool. Naturally. Okusan is the fastest in all things. I bet he is. Alright then. Let's go. Get set. Go. Ogasan is running across the top of the water with incredible speed before the signal has stopped ringing in my ears. That's not swimming. Cuckoo. Ogasan is victorious. You're slow, scurvy. And so I learned that I would need to redefine my very concept of swimming before hoping to defeat Ogasan. We finally got our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Chicken! Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. I did it. I don't know what I did, but I did it. Today is the last day. It's been a sim- Whoa. Sometimes it seemed long, and sometimes it seemed very short to me. <laughs> but either way, it's summer now. I should help clean up the club room and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club. Munch, munch, munch. Okusan looks excited. Did he get his pudding? Not angry fronts, but still, this is... Ah, what are you doing? The floor is covered in beans. Munch, munch. They're good. Oh. I guess that's gonna be me. I don't know what sound birds make when they eat beans. Oh, whatever. Looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance supplements and eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. <laughs> what should I do? Join in. Why not? He's gonna try and kill me, I guess. <laughs> munch, munch. Yum. Oh, no. And so we devoured two months worth of dietary supplements in one day. <sighs> Okusan. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Ooh. We're in Japan. What? So, like, is this after the apocalypse, and am I the only human left? Because that would be interesting. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now. Paleolithic home and instinct. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you. Huh? Who the fuck? I don't know you. Where'd you come from? 
Oh my god, that music. A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. Oh my gosh. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeon Nation. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ah, uh, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm, I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her. It's a her? Scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit. I. Okay. So these have to be giant mutated birds. Or I have to be a small mutated human. So I don't think. Well. Oh, maybe she just stands on like the handlebars and just like turns it, controls it with like her foot. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Uh, Koshiba Azami. I saw Takoyaki. Kami Azami. Then thank you, Azami. is like a kitten. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both of our lives. It may seem strange to you, to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. Oh, so you must have lost someone in, a, in an accident. There's a far off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I want to get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. What? Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light. So, one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we putted along at Azami's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. I'll. We can get a job. Oh, we cannot. Nah, it's not get a job. I think I'll wait until I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures and go to work. Slacking off and having fun is a more high schooler thing to do. We I guess so. <laughs> Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Invite. Uh, duh. We're gonna take San. Koo, is it true that you will take Okusan to the wonderful place? Yep. Today is the summer festival. Let's go together. Oh, you're so excited. Ooh, Okusan smells excellent things. Okusan's excitement is almost at maximum. <laughs> this bird. <laughs> There's lots of good food. More than we could ever try. Ooh, perhaps even pudding. Well, probably not. I've never seen a stand selling pudding. Oh, look, look, the fireworks are starting.
Aren't they pretty, Okusan? Okusan? Coo. No, he's lost himself to the shining lights and returned to his feral ancestry. Calm down, Okusan. Calm down. Ah, uh, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Oh, hello, chicken. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept? Ah, my homework. I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself, chicken? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? It's breaking the fourth wall. 08.30. Oh. You're just a little bit early. Wow. Well, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, chicken? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, so I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library... Uh, should I help Mr. Nanaki study in the library or return to my glorious abode? I guess I could give my hand. You will? Thank you. I'll go make up some tea. And so I spent the morning grading tests in an air-conditioned staff room like a proper little lady. This tea is very good. It has mango in it. I do like sweet tea. Oh, mango and tea. That sounds amazing. Um, good morning everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Coo, Okusan, it's always having fun. Yep, yep. What is this fun? Once summer's over, time starts to come by faster than ever. Try to stay focused at... Focus, sir, focus! Sorry I only gave one of them a, a slightly lower voice. I'm just not as creative as I should be today. Maybe next time. Second term. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. Huh? Is that a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2-2? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home, though. Well, any teacher would do, right? Sir. <laughs> Sir! Oh. Hello, Scurvy. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card. Sir, it's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Scurvy. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing. Just, you did find this today, right, chicken? Yes, in the corridor just outside. The student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. Are they dead? So then, was the card laying there all summer? Nobody noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, chicken. <laughs> Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Uh, more gym. We gotta beefcake it up. Cool. Take this. Okusan smash. Have at you. Scurvy leveled up, vitality increased by 5.
Cuckoo! A beautiful autumn day for all doves. You're in a good mood, Okusan. Cuckoo! Okusan was granted a vision in his dreams. A vision. Cuckoo! A vision from Lord Puddy himself. Do you know the legend of Lord Puddy, Skirving? Cuckoo! Clad in feathers of the first voice. His golden pudding steed shining like the sun itself. Um. And the pudding is invincible. The indestructible pudding which heals any industry. Cuckoo. Incorrect. Nonsense. Inconceivable. You don't understand, Scurvy. Okusan wants no more of this. And he's gone. The classroom is filled with a cloud of dancing feathers. Did somebody eviscerate a down pillow or something? Ryota, what the? Maybe they didn't clean up properly yesterday? It's molting season, so. Well, one little breeze, and it looks like this, unless we make sure to keep everything clean. I thought I looked closely. Ryota's head feathers are looking a little loose, too. I guess everybody's growing themselves new outfits. Good morning, everyone. Sir, can we clean up a little before homeroom? Cleaning in the morning? This atmosphere is quite distracting. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? Cool. Oko san! Wretched Mongo. Can't you even fulfill the duty given to you? On arguing won't solve anything. It'll be easy if we all pitch in. And so we swabbed the room down before a homeroom. This is a lot of feathers. Not enough for a futon, but I think we can make a nice pillow. It certainly is more than usual. Did they come in the window, perhaps? Huh? Sir, um, did you spill some chlorine on yourself? Chlorine? I don't use that kind of detergent. But, um, you really smell like it. Oh, that would be bleach. Bleach. <laughs> Sir, are you one of those degenerates who bathes with bleach powder? No, no, I dozed off and got stuck in the washing machine last night, that's all. That's dangerous. Sir, please be careful. Hmm, yes, I'll... I guess there wasn't any way he was going to stay awake after helping us clean the room. Oh, I fell asleep on him. <laughs> Today's the school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. So many things to do, I can't choose. Hmm. Oh, chicken. Mr. Nanaki, what is it? Your shift is tomorrow, right? Yep. Could you maybe help with the reception desk? We're getting a lot more people than we expected. Of course. I shall meet it. Information and directions like an oni of old. Clever cleaver in hands, seated on top of throne, wrought from the skulls of my foes. What is this game? Thank you. I'll go get a chair. Okay. Nobody thought that was strange. Uh, it looks like the crowds are thinning, thinning out a little. That was tiring. Are you okay, sir? I'm fine, just a little too... Of course he fell asleep again. At least he'd held up pretty well until now. It's almost time to clear up and prepare for classes tomorrow. And so I spent the last hours of the festival nervously watching Mr. Nanaki sleep, slipping ever lower in his chair. Ah, 
I handed in my recorder and said if my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Excuse me. Huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Iwamine. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers? Nothing at all. There is a statistical devastation visible in the data on students from the past few years. I had hoped to get some insight from you, but it would seem I have overestimated you. Really? Sorry I couldn't help then. I'll... Side with Kazuaki, shoes retarded. It's not a very nice, doctor. What do you want? Hello, chicken, what is it? Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. A teacher like pupil. Today is track day. We'll be timing each other today. So I've made sure to prepare to be in tip-top shape. Huh? Why is the doctor here? You didn't know? I'm in charge of nutrition for all the athletics clubs. Your advisor asked me to bring steroids today, but... Oh my god. Cool. Okusan has no need for those. Cool. Bring Okusan pudding, or bring nothing at all. As you can see, your captain doesn't want them. I prepared this just for him, and I'd really like to see how his body will react to you fucking asshole. Koo! Okasan said he doesn't want it. It smells weird. Koo! Have scurvy drink it instead. Um. I don't want to make Okusan drink it, so I'll drink it. I'll be the lady. Whatever. Anything to make the doctor get lost, go, go. No. What are you doing? That's not for humans. Cool. Okusan knew you could trust you, Scurvy. You are his greatest ally. Yuck. What was in that? <laughs> what happened? Scurvy leveled up. Wisdom increased by 10. Wisdom. <laughs> huh. An interesting reaction. Thank you. This has been most informative. I'm not sure why, but I think it made me smarter. Race you to the other end of the field, Okusan. Cool. That's all for today. Finals are coming up soon, so make sure to study hard. Oh, so we're getting close to finals. Yay! Hey, Okusan. Cool? What is it? I've been wondering for a while now. What is the pudding you're searching for? Cool. Pudding is pudding, naturally. Cool. Might you know where Okusan could find pudding, Scurvy? Um. Both? Check the grocery store. Indeed. Okusan goes at once. Wait, Okusan. And he's gone. Koo. He's back. Koo. Scurvy is a liar. A traitor to the cause. Ow, Okusan, stop. You're hurting me. Koo. There was no pudding. Not at all. Not a trace. Koo. Okusan hates you, Scurvy. No, why is this happening? I guess they don't have pudding in grocery stores in Bird World. Ah, uh, it's that time of year when the chill inside gradually breaks down my soul. Well, I'm done cleaning, so I guess it's time to go home. Huh? Where is my phone? I remember looking at Daily Portal Z during break, so... I can't have left it at home. We had chemistry lab today, right? Maybe I left it in there. The door is open. Good. There it is. Sitting right on the bench I worked at. Sorry, were you lonely? Come on, let's head home. 
Ah! I bumped into... Doctor? You again. Has your life no purpose aside from meddling with me? No, I... What is he even doing here? He came out of the chemistry prep room, right? Alone after school in the lab. What were you doing? Um, I left something behind. Did you see anything? Uh? I'm asking if you saw anything. What are you... What is he talking about? Would it be a problem if I had seen something? Very well. May I ask a favor of you, Miss Chicken? Ah, yes. What is it? Could you bring me the files from the proper... The black ones on the desk? Isn't this the prep room right here? They are somewhat heavy for me, but I am sure you will have no problem with them. Would you mind? Uh, no, sir. I'm not sure I can get away with saying no, so I'll just do as he says. Maybe that's for the best, maybe not. I don't see anything like what he asked me for. Huh? Wait. I'm locked in? Doctor, let me out. What are you doing? No reply. The building's going to be locked soon, and I didn't tell anyone I was coming here. Wah. Some birdie helped me. The doctor's locked me in here. Why did he do that? There's no reason to unless... He thinks I saw something I shouldn't have. This must be his way of shutting me up. Or removing the evidence. That's probably it. I'm in despair. This evil doctor, who will probably be coming back with a cleaver or something, has left me in despair. I'm not sure I can make it out the window, but I have to get out of here quickly. How can I? Ah, oh, footsteps. Coming closer. I have to hide. There's nowhere to hide in here. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't. Huh? What are you doing in here, chicken? School is closed already. Mr. Nanaki, I thought I heard a noise coming from over here. Were you banging at the door, chicken? That's not good. The door isn't a punching pack. I think I can see a halo over in his head. I can practically hear angels. I'm alive. Sir, I... I there are some dangerous things in here. So don't come in without asking, okay? I didn't come in of my own accord. The doctor... That's right. I asked her to. <coughs> you did? Indeed. I'm truly sorry. Completely forgot I asked her to get in... Get her to get something. And I locked her in. And walked off. Yeah, fuck off. You locked the door as soon as I walked in here. Who are you, Clive Wearing? I don't get the reference. <laughs> Is that it? Well then. This all thinks, thinks, thinks of ill doing, Mr. Nanaki. But the doctor said it was an accident. I think it might be best if you went home as soon as possible this time of your chicken. It gets dark so quickly. That is true. I wanted to leave early, but then all this happened. Well then. I'll head home now. Stay safe. We'll have a career plans survey tomorrow, so don't forget the printout from earlier today. Chicken is a very honest, nice girl, isn't she? Though she is a little bit restless. I agree completely. Anyway, I shall excuse myself now. Goodbye, doctor. Yes? That was a little sloppy. You failed to, failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. That sort of thing will be the death of you, you know. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Just kidding. Accidents like that happen to everyone, and you remembered to come and let her out in the end. Don't worry about it. Yes. Thank you, Professor. What the fuck? We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Chicken. Sir. You're getting better. Keep it up. 
Yes, sir. The sun, its majestic brilliance, sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. Oh, the shrine. Yes. There are a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Scurvy. Oh, look at Ryota. Happy New Year. Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, it, it looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Um, I'd like one for... Fulfillment and Conquest. Clearly. <clears throat> here you go. Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yep. The first day is always busy. Oh, well. I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Scurvy. Maybe some other time? Since you're here, why not get a fortune? They're next to the main building over here. Thanks. See ya, Ryota. Oh, Ryota. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, chicken. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes. Unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm. Which should I take? This one. Bob White Blessing. Uh, I don't know what to think about that. Good. You got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, chicken. Thank you, sir. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. Oh, I bet you did. What a shocker. Wait, you fell asleep. You're still hibernating, sir. Wake up. Um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Third term. Is this the last term? It still lights out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Wee! Oh, tomorrow's the human times. Uh, I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legumentons is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it's used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening, here for beans. Yes. Is there a kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards these bean medleys for racers. But they're a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the birding question, really. Hmm, that's true. Sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy. Racing blend. I'll take these. Thank you, Miss Hewer. Today is the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. Okosan. Okosan, wait. Cool. What is it? Akusan was about to escape into the great outdoors. I have something for you. It's the Gumentine's Day, remember? It's already been a year since we met Okusan. I'm never sure if we'll get along, but I like you. So please, here. Ku, such beautiful beans. Ku, Okusan is thankful. Okusan likes you too, Scurvy. 
He immediately opens the package and <laughs> begins to devour its contents. Seeing him enjoying them makes me happy too. Oh, he accepted them, yay. He is our one true love. Finals are over. Time to go coast along until spring break. Is the track team doing anything during break? I should go ask. Okozan, are you in here? There he is. He has a bag of dried beans in a canteen. Is he going hiking? What are you doing? Koo, as you can see, Okozan is preparing to depart on a great journey. Over spring break? Koo, no. Okozan has quit school and is going on a quest. What? Okozan, you can't do that. It was a miracle for someone with a brain like yours to get into this school in the first place. And if you waste this chance, you'll end up a failure. Koo, Okusan will not be stopped. Okusan is going on a quest to seek the true pudding. What is the true pudding? It's not what I think of as pudding, right? Koo, pudding is the ambrosia of the gods. Miracles and jingling. Corporeal form. Treasure shining with the seven colors of the rainbow. Koo, those who partake in its wobbling flesh will never experiment, experience sadness again. Seven colors of the rainbow? I'm not sure I'd want to eat that. You're serious? You're leaving? Koo, Okusan never goes back on his word. I'll go with him. Duh. I'm coming with you. Koo, what? Fair maiden, this quest will be mortally dangerous. I don't care. If this true pudding really exists, I want to find it with you. Koo, hmm. Okusan knows your abilities well, Scurvy. You will not be an impediment. So you'll take me with you? Koo, very well. Birds of a feather must flock together after all. Yay, let's go. Koo, until we catch the end of the rainbow. And so our great quest began. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> oh. Well. I guess that was Head to Full Boyfriend. Um, that was interesting. I quite enjoyed myself. I'll probably come back to it in the future. Uh, Okusan is crazy. That doctor was pretty nuts. Um, yeah. Um, you guys should give this a try. I recommend it, actually. It's not bad. It's pretty well written. Um, the characters are memorable, to say the least. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, comment, tell me what you thought of this video, and subscribe, like, and favorite my video. Looking forward to more videos like this in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!